Revolution it, it, or the Russian Revolution. Like there have been a lot of different um, revolutions in the course of human history that have played out a lot more more peacefully. But it, but but it, it comes to the point where what do you do? You have to take a stand somewhere because otherwise you're just going to be pushed off into oblivion. Like you, you will not be able to live, and enough. And there is gathering a critical mass of people in this country who are facing that, not just metaphorically, not just like pondering it, and and but but literally facing, you know, homelessness, starvation, and eventually the the bullshit put out there by. <laughs> certainly the Republican Party and and also the Democratic Party are, are, are it's just not going to work anymore the, the the system cannot continue like this and we're reaching a point where something has to be done so I you know I, I take your your uh, your your thoughts about this seriously it, it, it really is is going to happen at a certain point and I would rather see you know a, a, a peaceful tax protest as as opposed to you know many other more <laughs> more disruptive <laughs> alternatives need. than I meal could envision. Meal team six stand down. Yes, meal t- you know fourth meal team six whatever it is. Just go home and and play militia in your backyard. We don't need you, <laughs> yes, but in please. a civil way, in a in a very. Did you I don't say, know. Did I you mean, say fourth I, I, meal team six? <laughs> I love that. I love that. That is a wonderful turn of I phrase. Just, Thank you. Every time I think about January 6th, I think about the plethora of memes um likening them climbing the walls to Donkey Kong. <laughs> right. And then you know the 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 short little cartoons they made where right. they actually Donkey Kong was putting the barrels down and they were getting knocked down. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean I, I mean you know at 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 root and it's I mean I, those it's it 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 is difficult because yeah, I mean there is is an a, an ocean of 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 racists and and horrible people uh in that but but ultimately I I I believe that they are are responding to like similar things that 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 we are there 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 is disruption in in their lives now they may be focusing in entirely the wrong wrong direction as to what is causing it i th- i forget who it was I, I don't think it was marx but i think it was someone who who wrote in his wake that said that um that anti anti-semitism is the uh the the the, the socialism for idiots and 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 I think that is a lot of the the way that that the that defines for me a lot of the MAGA right. Like they they look for to blame their their economic problems on people who look different than they do, or people who have sure. a different rela- re- religion than than they do. And yeah, so, we're actually yeah. we're facing um, a, a Christian nationalist takeover in our country, yeah. and yeah. this. This election season is either going to help them. Yeah. And please go listen to my last show uh, with yes. Project 2025 because I had to revisit that. And I really went in depth. And they seriously want to take us back to the early 1900s where yeah. like little kids were being killed because they were climbing into machinery yes. and, you know, radium girls and yes. no rights and and the patriarchy, what they're starting with. Because they're really, really pissed off. There's a whole society of dudes who think like white dudes need to be in charge and they're really pissed off at women. And so that's why they're starting with the um, the, the attack on women's rights and the attack on abortion and the attack right. on IVF. And, and because they want women out of the workforce and back in the home barefoot and pregnant. And so, yes, this this election season, we are facing um an opportunity to continue our democratic republic. However, once we solidify that, you know, once we make the decision, do we want a Christian uh, theocratic nation or do we want the United States of America? Once we answer that question, hopefully it's the latter. Yeah. Then we need to start the process of 
weeding out the problems. We we need to remind them that they are public servants, that they work for us, and we need to do something um, nonviolent but extremely effective. A message. Yeah, that we are not going to tolerate this. We can't live. We can't exist. Yeah. You know, I go from a hundred a couple of years ago, a hundred dollars was a lot of money, and I'm feeding four people. Yeah. Now I'm looking at two hundred, two hundred and fifty a week. Yeah. My Same rent has here. gone up. My all of my bills have gone up. My streaming services have gone up. We don't go to the movies because we can't afford. And by the way, the shit movies that they're putting out, I'm not even <laughs> gonna pay those prices. I, but <laughs> I, you, you know, it, it's very interesting that you mentioned that. It like, like the whole, yeah. The, I mean, the the streaming platforms, the prices for for that is, are, are going up too. I have actually found, and maybe this is just because I'm in a little rural backwater here, that some of the the movie theaters, you know, they'll have, and and I, I almost don't want to mention it because I, I feel like my local movie theater is going to be flooded. But there there is a, a movie theater that has like five dollar Tuesdays. So I, I I will I will go there as opposed to like you know pay twenty bucks to see it at home on on a streaming service. In some cases, the the movie theaters because they have like been like you know, sort of pushed to the edge by the the uh, the cabal of of streaming and increasing prices there are actually offering in a desperate effort to get people to come back into movie theaters like lower prices uh than than would be the case if 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 you had streaming so it's uh, yeah i mean like exactly how are you yeah. how do how do you blot out like to whatever extent you can and just enough to stay sane like the the iniquities of of each passing week with being under more and more pressure and paying more and more and earning relatively less and less, how do you deal with that? Okay, so you, you see a movie and you like you check out for a couple of hours and you you engage in some escapism and that's and and that's fantastic. But even there, they're tr- they're screwing you over. They're they're raising the prices and at this and at the same time, like oh, God, they're they're shoving more ads in than ever before. You know, I. I'm a subscriber. God help me. I, you know, I, I, I've, I've had, uh, you know, conversations uh, with with my family about whether we sh- we should continue this, and and so far, um, I, I have not been the um, the victor in those conversations about continuing a subscription to Amazon Prime. And you 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 look at these, you look at these the, the video service there. Now you're paying for it, and you're getting the ads too. At, at, at the same time, it's it's just. It's just absolutely like uh, uh, unbelievable to me. Just more and more pressure in every conceivable way, even through those means that you try to use to uh, uh, escape from the the vicissitudes of of this late capitalist system. And if I could, there is a class action lawsuit that any Prime member, uh, Mm. Prime video member should join. Uh, My husband is one of them. Um, it is, it is out of California, but uh-huh. across the country you can join. So if you have been a Prime member for a long time, mm-hmm. uh, my husband's been one for like, you know, forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they made you sign up for the two ninety nine dollars upcharge uh-huh. to avoid ads, which he did. Mm. Um, your Prime membership always came with ad-free service. So mm. you shouldn't have had to pay that. And there's a class action lawsuit going on. I suggest you attach yourself to it. I am absolutely. Um, I'm not I'm only will you hopefully, if if you know good prevails in this, you will uh, not only not have to pay that and have your services that you originally pay for and currently pay for uh, brought back whole, but you may see um, a residual not not just what you've paid, but maybe the duration of that you have been paying. You know, lawsuits may take time. Um, if you end up paying over the course of a year, you might see the money come back to you. So either way, it's sending a clear message to Amazon. Dudes, fucking stop. Calm down. OK, yeah. you already have the market on goods and services and retail and all that shit. You don't need to do this. How much money do you need? And this I I. I how I, many? I, I don't understand. How much money do you how need? How many dick shuttles does he need to build? <laughs> How many 
many times do you need to plaster He's like into a space? Greasy Lex Luthor. What the fuck? He is. And, uh, you know, I, I, I posted an article. It, it was just like, it was hilarious because it was like he and his, his current girlfriend, um, like they have this foundation and they gave a bunch of money to like Ava Longoria. And, yeah, right. And like some, that's giving money away. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Cause she was like, she was doing real good. So they, so it's basically billionaires like giving a bunch of money to, to millionaires. And it, right. it, was, it was, it was, it was, it was hilarious to me for, for a bunch of, uh, of reasons. And one of them was that like, like this, one of the other, the other guy that, that, that won the award was like Admiral something, Admiral Mc, Mc, McRaven, Admiral McKiso Raven. Um, and it, it, it just, they were wearing, he, he and Jeff Bezos in the picture publicizing this, they were wearing the exact same suit. I swear to God, like the, the color of the tie <laughs> might have been a little off. Like, could no one at that point, like in this professional, like photo shoot, could have s- said, um, guys, could we, you know, I know you have access to gobs and gobs of money. We could easily get a different tailored suit in here for one of you. Could we not like <laughs> switch that up? That would be so wardrobe easy to do. <laughs> and and then somebody somebody commented that that um, uh, I, I I don't know what the the exact wording was, but but their comments about um, uh, what uh, Jeff Bezos is uh, girlfriend. I, I think her name is Lauren Sanchez. Uh, was wearing was, was not exactly complimentary, and it, and it did kind of look like a you know a little sort of uh, like old fashioned y like steampunky sort of like you know I don't know it was it it, it was it was very strange. Is and he dirt- trying to be and... like Elon Musk hanging out with Grimes? Is the a little? It, it, it looked a little bit like that. I don't know if that's the deal, but uh, yeah, certainly... that's who he's looking up to. I you guess know, this just makes me think: Is this like trading places for rich people? <laughs> I kind of giving money to Eva Longoria is that is that their version of it? I guess so. That's like a it's an, an entirely like new higher stratum like i i guess she had done some wonderful things and so like you've got it i'm sure she has but she can afford to do more wonderful things there's literally somebody out there i know it that is broke and has a great idea and just can't find any funding and the world would probably be a better place yeah but they we will never know about it we will never hear about it because Jeff Bezos is giving money to Eva Longoria yeah he's got he's got to like uh, like find the famous people because because really ultimately it's not about giving away money it's about finding a, an enormous tax write off yeah. uh and and giving it to people who he's going to benefit anyway cuz he gets to I hang out friends. with Eva Longoria yeah. and and she knows people <laughs> and okay let me let me I, I got to catch it this is from like 2 weeks ago and uh, yes, Jeff Bezos gives fifty million dollars each to Ava Longoria and Admiral Bill McRaven. So, um, da 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 da, hundred million. It's an annual prize to individuals uh, from Jeff Bezos and his fiance Lauren Sanchez uh, to individuals who make significant contributions to society. Now, I'm I'm sure those guys have have done some good things, but out of all the people in the country. Are, are they are are Admiral Bill McRaven, who's like a isn't he on I think he's on CNN as a as a contributor or something like that, and and Ava Longoria, are they really contributing the most or even like anywhere in that like the 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 top like five percent to like ch- making a positive contribution to the United States? I don't what I has think Eva so. done since Desperate Housewives? I don't even know. I'm not I sure. I mean, okay, she was in, she did uh, Dora, The Lost City, you know, and, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Okay, but is that really, like, a contribution to society that is of the highest order that we need to elevate? So, really? I, here, no, no here, offense here's, to the no, acting, no, I, I agree. Know, community, but I'm just saying. Here's, here's what they're saying, and, and, and we, can, we can process this in real time. Longoria who starred in ABC's drama Desperate Housewives as trophy wife Gabrielle Solis, has focused on education and entrepreneurship in Latino communities. The Ava Longoria Foundation aims to connect Latinos and Latinas in lower-income areas with uh, peers 
uh, Pure Mentors, and Longoria has a startup fund.